Hello, my name is Kat and today I wanted to show you how to make a cookies and cream trifle is what I'm calling it. This is a dessert that is just a few ingredients. It's super easy to assemble, but it looks really pretty. So your guests are gonna be like, oh my gosh, she spent so much time on that when really it takes like 15 minutes. So let me show you what all you're gonna need. You are gonna need about a pack of Oreos or any Oreo lookalikes, whatever. That's about 35 Oreos if you're gonna be particular. Whipped cream, you're gonna need about two cups of it. I would go ahead and have about three cups just in case you're a little hand, heavy handed. This is Cool Whip, but I put it in a bowl to make it look pretty for this video. Don't tell anyone. You're gonna need milk and um, pudding mix the milk is for the pudding mix. And then some dark chocolate and flaky salt. If you don't have flaky salt, it's fine, but I encourage it. I am using a trifle dish for this scenario. You could do like single servings if you have like a wine glass or even just drinking cups that are glass. Anything will work. Like I have these really pretty little bowls that have like gold around them, but you can use like a whiskey glass, like I said, a wine glass, whatever. For today, I am going to be using the big dish. So first things first is I'm gonna get this pudding going. Whenever you mix it together, it's supposed to be two cups of cold milk for a pack of this pudding. I'm gonna do a cup and three quarters of a cup to make it a little thicker. I believe that's what you do if you're gonna make it like a pie filling, I'm not sure, but Let's get started on that. I'll show you here and then we'll move over there. It's really simple. You just pour the packet in and then you pour the milk in, whisk away for about five minutes and then it's ready to go. Okay, this looks good. Delicioso. I don't know if that was fine, but. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna set this aside for a second and work with our Oreos. If I weren't doing this video, I would have done the Oreos while the pudding was going. If I can multitask, I'm gonna do it. But for the purpose of this video, we're doing everything separate. So, I have my Oreos in a baggie. I am going to beat them with a rolling pin. You could also blend it. Blending though, I find that the cream will get like stuck in the blade and it's kind of annoying. And this way you can get any pent up anger out. So, I'm just gonna whack it and hopefully it doesn't scare my baby, which is, she's right over there. So here goes nothing, ready? I think that's good. Okay, I'm gonna put this uh, in the bowl so you can see the consistency. It's a mixture of chunky and a little finer little chunks, but pretty pebbly. It reminds me of in preschool, we used to have dirt and worms, which is just chocolate pudding, Oreos and <laughs> gummy worms. If you're familiar with that, it's kind of the same consistency as that. So, you can kind of see. All right. Last thing we need to prep before assembling is our chocolate. So I got um, some dark chocolate and, <laughs> and I wanna shave it to make it look really nice on top. So I think I'm going to use this and go like this. And it does these little, I don't know if you can see that, little round flower type shaves. They won't stick together like that, unfortunately. They'll kind of break apart, but it's fine. It's still pretty. 
as you get going, you'll see that it, it kind of, you get wider shapes. So I just think it's like an elevated look. You could also top this with salted pecans or slivered almonds. Tonight I'm doing no nuts because our guest is allergic to nuts. So, but I highly suggest doing some pecans or almonds. Okay, that's kind of messy, but it's fine. I think this is good. I'm gonna stick it in the fridge because it's kind of warm in here and I don't want them to melt. Since it's so thin, it'll melt. Thank you so much for watching this video so far. If you are liking what you're seeing, feel free to click the like button and the subscribe button. And also, share with a friend if you feel like it would inspire them to host as well. Now, on to the rest of the video. Okay, now we are ready to assemble. We have our pudding. Here's our dish. Whipped cream and our crushed up Oreos. I'm gonna try to make a bunch of thin layers. You could just do three big layers, a layer of pudding, a layer of the cookies, and then the whipped cream on top. But I want it to look a little bit more interesting, so I'm gonna try to do lots of layers and I'll show you what I need here. So first I'm starting with the pudding, a couple of blobs, and then spreading it out. I want it to kind of rub up on the sides so that you can see the layer of it. Okay, that's a pretty thin layer I'm gonna show you. You can kind of see through the bottom. It's pretty thin, but I'm just gonna do a bunch of those layers. So then I'm gonna add some cookies. All right, and then our whipped cream. have a lighter hand because I push too hard and sometimes it mixes all of it. Just trying to make sure that I push as much as possible to the outer, the outline of it so that you can again see the layers. And here's what that layer looks like. So I'm gonna keep going on that. We'll see how it looks. All right, last layer. I'm going to get a paper towel, try to Clean this up a little. If you're having a bunch of people, it's only gonna be four of us this evening. And this is more than enough for four. I would say this probably serves five or six. So if you're having 10 or 12 people, or you're bringing us to a party, I would double all of your ingredients so that you can um, it all the way to the top. That way you wouldn't have to worry about cleaning this like I am. Lastly, we just need our shaved chocolate and our flaky salt. These are just extra bars. We're just gonna use this. I'm gonna kind of crumple them a little bit. All right. Just sprinkling them on to the top. <laughs> and then flaky salt. I am of the belief that everything sweet that you make needs salt just a tiny bit of salt, it brings out the flavor, especially chocolate. I love using Malden flaky salt, so that's what this is. It's a finishing salt. 
I wouldn't necessarily suggest using like iodized salt or like kosher salt that's very small, fine grain or whatever. It needs to be kind of a thicker, flaky salt. Okay, that was probably like half a teaspoon of salt. You don't want a lot. Here's what the top looks like. And the layers are fun. <laughs> okay, we are going to enjoy this this evening and I hope you and your guests will as well. The recipe will be linked below, so if you need to check that out in writing, please do so and please like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. We will be putting more content out. Bye. <laughs>